nervous baseball fans worried about a Taylor Swift curse. Jesse is here with that. Yeah, I mean, don't get us wrong. We all love Taylor Swift, and maybe it's all just a big coincidence, but it seems like after she visits a major league baseball city, there seems to be a major losing streak. <laughs> This morning, there's definitely some bad blood between Taylor Swift and the most superstitious baseball fans. It seems every time her 1989 concert hits one of their stadiums, their team strikes out. The latest victim of the so-called Taylor Swift curse? The Toronto Blue Jays. T Swizzle played at the Rogers Center Friday night, and the Blue Jays lost the next day. She took the stage Saturday, and the team lost 12 to three to the Tampa Bay Rays. I love the Blue Jays, so this is not a good news right before the concert. The curse first casting a spell over the Washington Nationals in July. The lights going out mid game, not once, but three times. Nationals pitcher Max Scherzer tweeting, well, who was the last one to use National Park last? Taylor Swift, I blame her. The curse then making its way to Texas. The Houston Astros losing seven of eight games following that concert. And the San Diego Padres went 11 and 18 since Swift's performance at Petco Park in August. And Taylor's not the only superstar linked to a sports curse. Within just two weeks last year, Justin Bieber may have cursed counted three big teams. He was on the scene at first when the Knicks got routed by the Bulls. Oh, the very Justin. next day, yeah. Yeah. he was there when the Knicks spoiled LeBron James Cleveland Cavs homecoming. And then just days later, Bieber joins a Pittsburgh Steelers Bible study meeting, and then they lost to the Jets, guys. <laughs> Bible study? This is all lost? very scientific. Wow. You guys remember Drake at the US Open with Serena Williams? Wow. Just I saying. Mean, just blame it on other people. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. I, mean, I, I like that. To do it's pretty convincing. Yeah.